Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would film kind of a Ask Tasha slash catch up video slash just let you know what's going on and also thought I'd, you know, show off my new hair. Yeah, I actually went mint. I did it. I told you guys I would, didn't I? I actually did it last night and this morning kind of. It was a long sort of process. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen it already, but if you don't, um, yeah, this is your first look, I guess. Now, I'm gonna assume that a bunch of you want to see a tutorial on this. Um, I did film one, so you can see how I went from the pink to the mint. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below, and then I can definitely upload that if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. But yeah, other than that, I don't know, that's kind of the big change that uh, happened today. I'm still really getting used to it. Tomorrow is Halloween, so I'm going to be being a mermaid. I mean, as much as I did love my pink hair and how cute that looked and how mermaid-esque it did look, I think this will look really good too. Yeah, my costume. <laughs> a lot of you commented on my Halloween video, the mermaid video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will literally make the screen a big box and you can just click the screen and it'll take you right to my mermaid Halloween tutorial. Yeah, a lot of you asked like what would I be wearing with it and the answer is quite hilarious. So my friend Eb and I, we were like, you know, what can we be for Halloween? And I was like, well, mermaid, I've never been a mermaid, number one. Might as well do it while I have pastel hair. And we wanted something easy, so we actually found these like, you know when you go on like holiday and they have like those touristy gift shops and they have like the long t-shirts that are like a girl wearing a bikini and then you put it on, you look like you're wearing a bikini. I know it's like, I know it's like the cheap way to be a mermaid, but honestly, this was like $16 and because we bought two of them, it was like buy one, get one for seven bucks. So they were actually $12 and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be putting so much freaking effort into my makeup and that's going to take me long enough. So I was like, I might just cheap out and do this. Look at it. It's so cute and it looks, I mean, it looks pretty legit, right? <laughs> I don't know. It makes me look like I'm like so thin even though. So yeah, you guys will probably actually be watching this on Halloween. I mean, you might be watching it the night before. I guess it depends on how tired and lazy I am after I film this video. But if you guys are watching it on Halloween, I just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. Um, if any of you do do the mermaid makeup that I did in that last tutorial, please tag me in it. I'd love to repost all of your looks. So you can tag me on Instagram. The links will be at the end of this video. Put it on Tumblr, anywhere. Just tag me and I will find them. So what else? Mint hair. I got a new car. That's, that's new. That's something new. I got rid of the Jeep. If you guys watched my last Ask Tasha video, I told you that it was literally a gas guzzler. Literally the worst car on gas ever. And I think my vehicle alone made me really poor. Even though I wasn't, it really made me feel poor every time I went to the gas station. It was like $120 to fill that thing up. So I did get a smaller car. I got a Saturn Ion. It's a 2005, it's called Stealth. I don't know, it's like a dark gray. I like it. I don't know, I mean, it's not my dream car. I would much rather be driving an SUV, but I don't know, what can you do? You know what else? I've been, I feel like I've been listening to so much Selena Gomez lately. Does anybody like ever get into that like mood where you're just like, I just wanna listen to the poppiest thing I can find and I just wanna like groove. Anybody else? Um, what else? The room tour. I know I promised it, but I don't know if I can promise it anymore because a lot of things have changed. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. I guess I, it's not just my room anymore. <laughs> it's also my boyfriend's. Uh, he did move in with me, so uh, a lot of it's changed. I still obviously have my whole YouTube set up and kind of like made it into two spaces where he kind of has his space, I kind of have my space. Yeah, so we are sharing a room together. I don't know if you guys still want to see the room tour. Let me know if you do because obviously all of his stuff's in it too. So might not be crazy interesting. I made him put headphones in so he can't hear me so I'm not like as nervous to film in front of him but I don't know we can I can see if I can like get him here for one second. Bubs? Okay come. <laughs> I have to go down. You can see? See? Say hi! <laughs> He's so nervous. He is so shy, I swear, like, I don't know if you guys are ever going to see a boyfriend-girlfriend tag video because he's just like, no, I don't like it, I don't like it. But yeah, so, I mean, he's really cool about the whole YouTube thing, he's really supportive, so he's okay with me talking to myself on a regular basis, I think. Okay, so, caught you guys up to date, so let's kind of move into some Ask Tasha questions. I have a bunch from the last Ask Tasha video and questions from just on YouTube, and then I have a bunch from Instagram, so 
once again, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go do that and then in the next Ask Tasha video, your question could be answered. Okay, so M. Wilson asks, who is your style icon? This is kind of like the perfect question for the shirt that I'm wearing. My style icon is Elle Howard, 100%. She's actually the co-owner of the brand that I'm currently wearing. This is Bruce Hart. Um, if you guys are interested in Bruce Hart, I would love for you guys to check it out. I'll put the links down below. Elle and her best friend Riley, they run this company. Two of the sweetest girls. I've never met them, but I mean, from their online presence, I feel like they are the sweetest girls. It's an organic clothing company, and basically, I think 5% of the sales um, every month go to a different non-profit but animal welfare organization, which I think is really, really cool. So. It's definitely a really great company to support and um, they also are foster moms to different animals. They use social media to pretty much find them homes and I don't know, I just think they're great girls. Um, Elle has great style so I wish that I could own all the pieces from the Bruce Hart line because I've literally been living in this shirt ever since it arrived in the mail the other day. I just love her so I would say she's my main style icon for sure. This next question comes from Miss Joey Pants and she asks if you could be any movie character who would you be? And at first when I read this, I was like, my f I feel like my favorite movie character right now is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So I would want to be the little kid, his, his owner, because oh my god, Toothless is the cutest. Like, I was watching it and I was just like, oh, like the entire time. He is the cutest little thing in the whole world. So I would probably want to like be his owner so we could hang all the time and I could fly on him. <laughs> this next question comes from Color Coded Love. She asks, what advice would you give to someone who wants to be different? Dyed hair, makeup, crazy style, etc. But isn't sure where to start or is afraid. I mean, I don't know if my style is crazy. Um, I guess my hair color is a little crazy and always has been, but I've always just rocked what I feel comfortable in and that's something I stick by every single day. I'm never gonna wear anything that I'm not comfortable in, so I'm not necessarily gonna wear stuff that is normal because I don't feel comfortable in that stuff. I feel comfortable going out to the mall, day to day type stuff and the things I'm wearing, I feel good about myself. So I think you just have to look at it that way. Like if you are comfortable and you love what you're wearing and you love the way it looks, just rock it. I mean, I've gotten a lot of like stares, etc., from my hair color, but I just kind of tell myself people are looking at it because they like it. If they don't, I don't really care. That's not my issue. Um, it just all comes down to like, feeling good about yourself and feeling comfortable so just do it and I mean people are gonna say nasty things about absolutely everything in the world and you can't really stop that but just do you I mean that's really the only way that you're gonna be happy and I think your happiness is a lot more important than what other people think. Brianne Foster asks has your life changed since YouTube? I mean I guess that it has um, I try to say that it hasn't, but it, I mean it has in, in small little ways. I went to the mall the other day and I got recognized by two different people and one of them actually came up to me and the other one just tweeted at me, so hey to you guys if you're watching. And that's really, really cool. And so I guess my life has changed in that way and I've met a lot more people than I would have not doing YouTube and I think that's kind of one of the best things about YouTube is meeting so many of you and seeing how I have a lot of the same interests with you. I know a lot of you always comment like that we listen to the same music, which is super cool because I don't have a lot of girlfriends that go to shows or listen to pop punk or stuff like that. So it's really cool to know that people watching my videos actually do share the same interests with me. So my life has changed in that retrospect, whereas, you know, I'm quite a passive person. I'm quite shy. So to have all these people that like want to talk to me and want to be friends, that is like the coolest thing I could ever ask for out of YouTube. Julie asks what kind of music I was into as a teenager and literally I can sum it up with like three bands. Good Charlotte, Simple Plan, and Blink-182. That was me. That was like me to an absolute T. Val asks if I have any siblings. I do. I have two siblings and their names are Briar and Brittany. My brother Briar is 27 and my sister is 25? Yeah, 25 because we're two years, we're all two years apart so. Yeah. Jackie <laughs> asks, um, Coke or Pepsi? And I'm gonna straight up say juice. I'm gonna say neither because I just want to drink juice. I'm like crazy into like Powerade and Gatorade and like iced tea and Fruitopia. Like just give me all the juice and you guys can have all the pop or whoever wants it because I don't want that stuff. <laughs> Adriana asks, so do you say your name like Tasha or Tasha? And this is like, you guys, oh, this is a bad thing because I'm going to straight up say I don't know because my dad says Tasha and 
my mom and like everybody else in the world says Tasha. Some people say Tasha, so I don't really know. I guess it's whatever you want to call me. Um, I'll take what I can get. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to Instagram for a couple questions. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm probably gonna butcher names. I'm really, really sorry. I'm surprised I haven't butchered any thus far. It's me, Anna or Una. She asks, if you if you get a next tattoo, what would it be? I really want like a little pumpkin pie tattoo with like a dollop of whipped cream on it. Um, I think that would be so cute. I saw it on like a flash sheet at a studio um, near my hometown. So I kind of really want that. I freaking love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Oh, forever. I wish that you could get it year round. I don't know why you can't. It makes me so mad. Lisa the Nixo, she asked how tall are you? I think I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, Pretty average height. Okay, Autumn Reindeer, she asks, if you ran a hotel, what shape and scent would the hotel bathroom soaps be? That is the most creative question I have ever been asked, I think. But I would say they would be shaped like little rabbits and they would smell like this candle. This is a lavender lemonade scented candle. It's from Target. It's literally my favorite smelling thing in the entire world and I wish there was a perfume that I could spray on myself to just smell like that all the time. If you guys haven't smelt it, go to Target and pick it up. I think it's like $5.99. All Targets are probably gonna have them. It smells so good. <laughs> Last question, because this video is probably like 10 million minutes long, um, comes from Purity Ring, and she asks, What are your favorite bands and your favorite genre of music? I love the music that you use in your videos. Thank you. Um, a lot of the music that I do use in my videos are local artists that live in and around Southern Ontario, so I'm able to use their music because um, obviously it isn't owned by like a huge record label, so. I mean, I listen to a lot of like, pop punk but I listen to like a lot of different stuff. I mean like one day you'll hear me listening to like freaking Selena Gomez and another day you'll hear me listening to like the Front Bottoms or Hounds of Hate or something like that so it changes and it's I mean it's hard for me to kind of like list them all because it is a long list but I've had people message me on places and be like can you guys can you like suggest some bands for me to listen to and I'm totally for that so I think the easiest way if you guys want me to suggest some bands for you guys to listen to would be um, messaging me on Tumblr and then I can just like throw a list together and send you guys that. Favorite band wise, you know that my favorite band is Sea Haven. I mean, do I have to do I have to tell you guys that a million times? I think I already have. Okay, I think I have talked your guys' ears off enough today. Um, if you guys have any questions for the next Ask Tasha video, please feel free to leave them down below and then I will use them in my next video. Um, what else? Also, if you guys want to see the mint hair tutorial, please let me know. I want to do videos that you guys want to see, so if you guys want to see it, that's something that I can totally upload within the next couple days. Once again, happy Halloween if you guys are watching this on Halloween. I hope you guys have a great night out and are safe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!